But we're continuing our Taste of Alabama coverage now. One Alabama chef has been putting Birmingham on the national stage for dining for more than two decades. Highlands Bar and Grill was named the most outstanding restaurant in 2018 by the James Beard Foundation. Tonight, our Michelle Logan sits down with Frank and Parta Stitt to talk about their secrets to years of success. Frank Stitt's journey as a chef started growing up here in central Alabama. After spending time across the globe in pursuit of the best culinary education, he tells me he knew he wanted to start a restaurant here because the people appreciate good things. And good things he has served. The hustle and bustle of Bottega Cafe on a Friday afternoon is to be expected by its patrons. Like Birmingham is a foodie city, and like we're known for food, so I mean, anybody knows that like you, you need to go to like Bottega, Highlands, Fon Fon. Those are all the hot spots to go for these things. Those hot spots. <laughs> All part of the Stitt Restaurant Group. Smell. And the guy who started it all is just as much an Alabama man at heart as he is a worldly visionary in the culinary arts. Born in Birmingham and raised near his mother's family farm in Coleman, Alabama, Frank Stitt developed a curiosity about food at an early age. So I would go out and help my grandmother harvest, whether it was strawberries or asparagus. And that, I didn't realize it at the time, was just a great foundation for becoming a cook and a chef. Developing a relationship with the food. Yep. It's developing a relationship with the food and the farmers. That zeal for ingredients. One thing is love and care and respect, but love is the key ingredient. Never lost in the cooking process. I love to turn people on to, to kind of weird vegetables, whether it's beets or cabbage or rutabagas or turnips that they think they don't like. That kind of just natural excitement about the food and the ingredients, I think that's what fuels me. Stitt says the experience at the restaurants just wouldn't be the same without his wife, Hardis. <laughs> she is concerned about every detail. She's certainly the, 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 the secret weapon for us being a success. Whether someone comes to the bar, say at Highlands, for a beer and three oysters, or it's someone who's spending, you know, hundreds of dollars on a bottle of wine in a larger party, each of them are, I mean, you know, both groups are very, very important. And we want them to be able to walk away feeling like, wow, that was really amazing. I can't wait to go back. The carefully and collaboratively crafted menus ever evolving to fit whatever ingredients are ready to take center stage. And then just with salsa verde. I think our hope is really that they just come in and they, they, they feel touched. They feel our warmth and our sincerity of wanting to, um, to provide them with a really incredible experience. The Stitt restaurants run with a little love and a standard of excellence, marked with the hustle and bustle of their patrons who keep wanting to come back. The scope of Frank and Parta Stitt's influence goes well beyond the walls of their restaurants. Many chefs who trained under the Stitt's went on to open their own restaurants, like Brick and Tin and El Barrio. The Stitt's say they love being part of the Birmingham food scene and have no plans to stop their unwavering effort for excellence. Reporting in studio, Michelle Logan, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.